What's up YouTube, welcome back to US Campaign. In the last part we uh, crashed at the end, my game decided to give out, so I think we're a little bit... A little bit back in the part. Also my general died, so I need to replace him. Anyway. I'm gonna move this army out. Or at least most of it. Because we need to get out of here and start conquering Anything some more, more territories. More these guys really aren't giving me that much money, so I'll just exempt them from tax as uh, more buildings get constructed. And hopefully, we can improve the happiness here. And Prosen is going up. I did forget my. Uh, I'm going to Kabul now. I did forget my. Say, ooh. Wait a second. I didn't lose my general. Oh, that was stupid. Well, he's gonna die. I can tell you that. No. Hmm. Where did I, lose? I don't know what I was talking about there. Persian fleet. Okay, anyway, life in the colonies looks pretty decent. French troops are coming towards Florida. How many Protestant ministers I got? 41%. The army of uh, assassins are coming towards this area. It's actually quite amusing. These guys have great uh, priests. I never had these guys as a Spanish. Anyway, the goal is to keep these guys, you know, just won't exempt them too. I know they're going to be ticked off. So the point is, I want my army out. I don't want us to have defenses. I want to try to attack the Spanish before they merge into one. And we have that big battle where it just crashed. That's kind of anticlimactic, you know. At least you'll maybe see it. You'll probably see another battle. See what the Spanish do when it gets to their turn. So yeah, the plans for this campaign, I mean, I just got one more territory left to the east. I could easily conquer that in like five turns. No, I don't really want to finish there, because I feel like it's only been 14 parts. I want to conquer some of India. Probably get rid of the Mughal Empire in Afghanistan. And then um, I'll probably end the campaign there. And then... You know, I've been experimenting with some mods, the All Factions mod. And uh, I was looking at Darth mod a little bit. My question is, let's say I did Darth mod, it adds the realism to the game, changes units, adds more factions and stuff. And stuff. Oh! Well, uh, that's pretty idiotic. <laughs> anyway, so, my question is, is it like Total Faction where you just have it on your desktop and you can play it, or is it actually going to... Empire. Kind of like the Civil War mod. It goes on your Empire and you cannot play the regular one in time. Okay. A church school here. That could be a reason. You know, we can just keep these guys Catholic. It's perfect. Perfectly fine. What do you require However, you out west here, without further delay. there's Santa Fe. We can easily that is change that over. Ooh, that would be an army. These Spanish are fighting pretty gallantly, I'll give them that. Only need a shipyard, we'll build that. Get the farms. I don't know. Let's try to uh, talk to this. We're really not at war with a lot of people. Greece! Nice. Why do you want to trade with me, Greece? I mean, really. Yeah, I don't really see a point in trading with much. We've got all the major trade routes with everybody. Oh, they're gonna do that there. That's why my game paused. Anyway, enough talk. Let's uh, fight these guys. Hopefully, my game won't crash this time. Hey, I'll see you there. Here. Then I'll have my center. Because obviously, the AI is gonna move around. Okay. 
I love how this all go hidden. This is gonna be trying. I can tell you that. My artillery isn't very accurate either. Does this shield them? I need to pack up the artillery. Now I was beating these guys. Where is this guy coming from? It's funny, that's Indian. Okay, we're going to take out these uh, horse artillery with our dragoons. They are shooting and killing some of our soldiers. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay. That is canister shot. They think they're colonial light calf. Oh, it's killing my horses. Horses, get around the flank. Okay, moving up. Oh gosh, those are trees. I thought I told I thought I gave my field artillery a direct order to move up. Okay, these guys will start opening fire. Okay, here come the Dragoons. My guys did route, though. There's a big hole in our line. Come on guys, you know what, screw it, you're so close, just bayonet charge them. Okay, the enemy general charged us. Taking these guys out on the flank. Looks like we're winning this flank here. Let's ungroup our soldiers. You know, I actually saw a Deadliest Warrior yesterday. And they had George Washington versus Napoleon. It was really great. And it was uh, really cool to see the cannons and stuff. Yeah, the French haven't had uh, too good success on that uh, show. At least up to that point, it was 50-50 uh, with the French soldiers versus the other nations. So let's see, these colonial light cav are running away now. And looks like we've got their artillery. Now the main thing in Empire is to keep the flanks. Do not let up on your flanking maneuvers. These guys even got some experience from that. Now the AI kind of runs in circles. And they got that village there protecting them, so that's not good. Oh, this is going to be close. So the point of the AI basically in this game is just to surround them. Like I was doing here. Just line up. And because they lost their general so early on, that's going to affect their morale. We've got some cav in the back, but I'm not too worried about that. Might as well just give them a bayonet charge. Looks like we are uh, routing these Spanish from this area.
my guys are really tired, so this melee charge probably wasn't the best idea. Here comes the second charge. The charge is what really kills them. Anyway. We're gonna move up these guys. Okay, these guys aren't doing anything. Oh, that's not good. Shoot these guys. Oh, God, they're screwed. Wow, our guy's got sandwich, and then another sandwich comes. My whole unit, my 14th regiment's down to one guy. I think we lost them. Blob tactics do semi-work. Okay, the Spanish are pretty much defeated in this battle. Just for fun, let's do huh, a three-prong charge. Three sides these guys are coming in. These guys are screwed. Look at that. How many uh, blue uniforms there are compared to this? Uh, I don't know why they're yellow. This kind of looks like tan uniforms, kind of. They have pretty good bayonets. I'm confident in my soldiers. These cannoneers have fired their last shots. Okay, I think these are the rest of the Spanish threat here. You know, if I was a native, the Spanish were probably the worst to the Native Americans, like the stuff they did to the, uh, the French were pretty nice because they had a. Uh, they weren't really interested in having all that land. Like they weren't like the English and the Spanish trying to capture all this land. They just wanted a fur trade. Anyway, I'll see you back the campaign out with the results. back so they lost most of their force and we still own this Texas territory Forward! apparently we lost some soldiers Forward! which is sad Country! another Protestant missionary we can like kind like really use these guys Where's my fleet at? List, list, list. There we go. Okay, I know you guys are, uh... Okay, we're getting very little money from that. I'm gonna send some, uh... Reinforcements around. Let's see, do we have any? All the way back up here, we can recruit reinforcements. You know, let's go to our research here. These dragoons. Will any of these allow us to? have light dragoons and then the United States has them. I'm pretty sure we do. Interesting. We went back over to the Indian front. 
At the ready. Let's have a second. Forward. And we'll keep we'll keep a decent force there. I think these guys do have a full stack though. I don't remember. In the last part though, we had uh Forward. some controversial. Forward. Ooh. Forward. Line infantry. Cool, you get some sub boys. Always oh, enhancing national prestige is a good thing. Okay, let's. Do we want to end a turn? I don't. Do we need. Yeah, we're recruiting some reinforcements. You know what? Heck, the USS Constitution could just deliver these guys down. Okay, we'll do that. When they're good. Ah, come on. Let's go down south. Okay, I don't think we. Need to uh, and turn. You know, we could. If we look down here. We can spy and see if there's any other forces coming. Anyway, we're in the turn. We have our master assassins all coming. Seeking cover. Hiding. It's really quite amusing. Going to ground. I don't know why the French decide to camp in Florida, Anything. and they're catching some sand and sun. This is a panhandle, right? I think I've been here. Panama City? I remember going there for a spring break. Let's see, Austria's taking their turn. Genoa, Hanover. Oh, they're gathering some more forces. I better check my relationship with France here because to see how uh, how friendly they are. Because if they're very friendly, there should be no reason for them to break their alliance. I mean, that just doesn't make sense. Spain was their ally for a long time, though. There's, there's nowhere for the French to go, too. France is extremely friendly to me, so let's, um... A <laughs> jewelry? I don't think so. Does jewelry have two L's? Is that the... Hmm. These seem cool. Let's offer them 3k for these uh, technologies. Ouch, France. Okay, this guy's gonna move. I can go no further. It looks like Spain is another major army. These aren't major, they're just pain Troops forward Got to do more with less Sir These long riflemen aren't really helping Men forward They should be happy with the militias we're getting. Improve their infrastructure. What's yes. getting more on the uh, market right now? I think we're gonna have to end the part pretty soon. Uh, where is it? Government trade. Sweden's blockaded Genoa. Whatever, okay, now... So we're looking for tobacco? Which is 18. Versus cotton, which is... Where's cotton? Cotton's 19, so we want to do that. Cotton would be better. Anyways, going to do on software, we can do it.